Preparation is key, you've heard it a thousand times. It's part of the reason why your DIY projects work out. So why are you thinking of taking shortcuts like not painting on a primer with wood and metal? Painting timber without a primer is not a good idea. Why? As paint is drying, so different parts of the timber are absorbing paint at different speeds. Remember, a sheet of wood does not have the same porosity throughout over the different grain structures. Painting a primer ensures you have a surface that firstly has better adhesion, but also a uniform base coat that you can start with. A primer also prevents the timber from sucking or absorbing the paint, which means we can get a better finish with less paint. Here, I have a really old window frame that needs a bit of repair, as well as a new coat of paint. I'll run the sander over it briefly to remove any dirt, grime and loose paint. And then on this half, I'm going to simply paint some enamel over it without using primer. You can see the old color bleeds through and I'm going to need many more coats of paint to get the finish I want. On this side, I'm going to paint a coat of primer first and allow that to dry. A primer forms a sealed base for the paint to adhere to and when I paint with the same color over it, you can see that there's no bleed through from the old paint, just two coats and I'll have the finish that I'm after. This is more evident when trying to paint a lighter color over a dark color. For demonstration purposes, here I have a sheet of timber divided into four areas. These two being dark black, with this having had primer painted over it, the third and fourth are plain timber, with this one having been painted with primer. I'll paint all of the areas with white fired earth enamel, a typical paint for timber. As I paint, you can see how the black is bleeding through the lighter paint, whereas these areas with the primer is covering well. When painting the plain timber, you can see how the paint is absorbed versus the area with primer, which again is covered well. A second coat will finish off with the desired finish. When painting metals, especially ferrous metals, which are more prone to rusting because of their iron content, primer is a must. Primer serves two primary purposes when it comes to metal. First, it acts as a bonding agent that allows for the paint to better adhere to the metal. This anti-rust metal primer also gives the paint an extra boost of durability, as primer's second responsibility is increasing metal's resistance against corrosion. Primers contain several components that are effective in cleaning, sealing and protecting metal, and it makes it more resistant to corrosion causing agents in the environment such as rain, humidity and salt. Primers are available in a normal tin that one paints on with a brush or a roller, or conveniently available in a spray can. Just ensure you prepare your surface by removing any loose paint and surface rust before applying. Like timber, primer also helps covering dark colors. So don't take shortcuts. Apply a primer before you paint your final color. This will save you paint and time. As you're well aware, Builders has a wide variety of primers, paints, and all the equipment you need, both in-store or online. For more videos like this, check the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.